Hi, this is Bob Flores with Course of Performance and we're going to take you through a, a little orientation of the Course of Performance technology and just what makes Course of Performance exhaust systems a little bit different from the other people out there in, in the marketplace. I'd like to introduce you to one of our muffler systems here and one of the uh, mufflers that we've actually cut in half so that you can see the guts and what happens with a straight flow through exhaust system. And that's basically what we're doing here. We're building an exhaust system that's all stainless steel, 95% hand built right in Cleveland, Ohio. God bless America. But what we want to do is just show how a performance exhaust system really does work. And specifically what a Corsa does to fine tune the sound quality of the interior cabin space of the vehicle. With that, I want to preface and talk a little bit about what we all grew up with. We all grew up with the old glass packs and the cherry bombs and, and the thrush and, you know, that wah, wah, wah sound when you're cruising down the road at that certain RPM level at 50, 60 miles an hour. There's just this, this noise that gets in there that irritates people and even makes some people physically sick. Well, that is all caused by low frequency sound waves. And low frequency sound waves are emitted from the firing sequence of your engine. So every time those pistons hit, they throw out a couple pulses of sound wave, a high and a low. Now the high is the good sound of the engine. That's the vroom vroom that we all like to hear. The low frequency is that wah 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 sound. And what happens with those is they run like a little caterpillar right off the catalytic converters. And what they do is they enter into the path of least resistance once they come off that catalytic converter and they dump in there. And then they run like a rat in a maze. And they hit this bulkhead and they revert back to where they went in 180 degrees out of phase. And when they pop in, guess what? You got other pulses trying to get in. And in a nanosecond, they're gonna collide and they're gonna cancel each other out. Hence the term reflective sound cancellation that Corsa Performance owns the automotive aftermarket patent for. Now some of you may have heard of reflective sound cancellation in the past. Bose Stereo headphones. Now Bose Stereo utilizes the same technology. They do it electronically. We do it geometrically with the way that we build our muffler. Now this happens to show one of our quieter mufflers, which is our touring version. And the reason why it's a touring version is because we've actually perforated the tube here and we've induced a packing material of long-stranded Owens Corning fiberglass, which we put in its own sock in its own compartment. And the only reason why we do that now is to go after high frequency sound waves, which are the good sound waves that are the louder sound of the engine. And we just kick that down a notch. So if you have a vehicle that maybe is giving you a little bit too much vroom vroom, uh, possibly you've put on some headers, high flow cats, no cats, this touring system will help to blend that down a little bit better for you. So it's an option. But the denominator is that you still have reflective sound cancellation eliminating the drone and straight flow through. Because if we all agree that the engine ain't nothing but a big old air pump, air in, air out, this is where you get your horsepower, this is where you get your torque. Why? You allow that engine to breathe more efficiently. So anytime I get an opportunity to sell an exhaust system, I'm also suggesting that you take a look at that air intake system that's on that vehicle too, because air in, air out makes a lot of difference. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you listening to the Course of Performance exhaust products.